Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been gone for a while, but I wanted to do this purple smoky eye for you. I've already primed my um, lid with Max Painterly Paint Pot. And now I'm going to be taking the Naked 2 palette and using Tees as a transition shade. And on a big fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to be kind of focusing that on the outer corner and then dragging it inward. And then I'm taking charcoal from the Lorac Pro Palette 2 and just deepening up that crease area with that same blending brush. And I'm focusing it more, like I said, on the outer V area or actually the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Artist Palette and taking Punch Fuchsia. And with a short shader brush, I am just packing that onto the middle of the lid. And then with the pigments that I got last Christmas for um, from MAC, I'm taking Kitsmas. It's that pr really pretty pink pigment. And I dampened my finger with MAC Fix Plus and picked up the pigment on my finger. And now I'm just putting that onto the lid and kind of bringing it in towards the middle of the lid, but not all the way over. And then with a fluffy blending brush, just blending. Next, I'm taking the vanilla pigment and with a small detailer brush, just popping that onto the inner corners of the eyes. <clears throat> and then I'm taking ColourPop's Dare, which is a really cool purple, and I'm placing that onto my lid with my finger as well. I just find that it packs on so much better. Then with the Lorac Pro 2 palette, I'm going back in to grab the plum. And on a flat brush, I'm just packing that onto the outer V area. I'm really sort of just placing it, actually. And then I'll be blending it out in a minute, and then I'll go back in with the color again and pack it back on and blend it out again you can't do you can't there's no such thing as too much blending so make sure you blend then I'm taking the vanilla pigment from that same set and just kind of running it along the bottom of my brows just to add a little shimmer. And then I'm taking Buff, which is just a neutral off-white and just blending that over the vanilla pigment. Then I put on some Ardell Lashes, number 105, and I'm running that plum shadow along the bottom of my lash line. Then I'm taking the Urban Decay um, pencil in the color Riot and putting it in my waterline. And then I'm taking Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara and doing the tops and the bottoms of my lashes. 
I really love this mascara wand for especially getting the bottom lashes because it's so small that it almost just grabs them and pulls them out. And then I'm taking some of that plum color and I'm placing it just right there um, on the inner area where I don't have many lashes and just because it kind of looked a little naked. And it's highlighting and contouring time. So I'm using my, my favorite concealer at the moment, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Light. And I'm applying that to all the high points of my face. And with the damp beauty blender, I'm just blending that in, I'm sort of pressing it into my skin. I'm not dragging it in any way. I'm really kind of bouncing that sponge um, around just to get that airbrushed look. No string streaks. And then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm taking banana and just also pressing that powder into where I put my highlight. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and just placing that underneath my eyes. And then I'm taking Havana for the bronze shade. And I'm bronzing up my face. I actually did my foundation off camera and I put on my Dior Air Flash, which literally looks like skin. I'm obsessed with that foundation. It's one of my top three of all time and I'm also bronzing up my five head try and make my forehead look a little smaller or shorter and just kind of bringing back the um, definition into my face and now I'm taking fawn from that same contour pa palette and I am using a um, what is that called I'm having a uh, second chisel, like a chiseling brush, and I am chiseling out my contour, and then I am blending it with that same brush that I used for the bronzer. And then I'm taking the Lorac um, Plum Passion blush, and I'm putting that just on the apples of my cheeks. And because I was going for a purpley look, I figured the plum blush would be perfect. And now to contour my, my nose a little bit, I'm using that fawn shade again and just lightly contouring my nose. Because I got a big nose and I need to make it look smaller. And then I'm using my finger just to kind of further blend it out. Um, then I'm taking High Beam from Benefit and I haven't used this in a while and I really, really love it. And I'm using it actually as sort of a base for a powder highlight. So yeah, make it extra highlighty and shimmery and gorgeous. So I'm using the Damp Beauty Blender to Pat that into my skin.
And then I am taking Light Beam from Sephora and adding even more Shema Shema. I have a little something hanging from my nose, like a piece of brush or something, tickling. So for lips, I am using Max Heroin and Viva Glam Rihanna 2 Lip Glass and Cabernet Jordana Lip Liner. I'm sorry about the mirror. I have to be more aware of that, but it'll come with time. But yeah, so I put a little gloss in the center just to kind of make my the center of my lip, lips look a little plumper. And that is the final look. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Thank you.